Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be following up the uh, the exhaust vent project for the laser cutter. So, basically, what I did is I cut this much off the uh, the uh, exhaust vent. So got away from me a little bit on the bandsaw using a small nine inch uh, bandsaw. I was going to leave a little bit proud on here but ended up what I what I did is against the stop I just rested this piece and ran it across finally because it uh, I, again was torquing too much but you can see we took off a substantial amount um, giving us a lot more bedroom. Now the other thing we did is I 3D printed a piece to go back here and I want to talk about this piece a little bit so unfortunately I could not get big enough on either of my two 3D printers to have it fl make this whole flange like you see here so what I actually did was printed out an insert so this goes inside of the uh, the mouth of the unit and then this flange sits on top and these two screws bolt this blue piece to this flange and this flange will go on here. Now what I did is I siliconed all this so this is one sealed unit you can probably see inside and also yes I'm going with uh, inch and a half uh, OD here uh, and I'll show that when I hook it up uh, in, in a minute. And I've been using it with an inch and a half OD to a shop vac which actually has been working out pretty good so uh, I, I don't think there's a problem there. Uh, so let's go ahead I want to I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to install it and then I'm going to come back and I'll show you once it's installed in the unit and then we'll go over and take a look at how it Welcome back. So uh, we've got this installed inside the unit and if I get the camera on it and so you can see it attached. So um, I bought quite a bit of this uh, one half inch diameter um, uh, tubing, flexible tubing. It's not as flexible as I had uh, hoped. I liked it because it was clear and orange and I'm building a sort of an evacuation dust collection system uh, here in the shop with it. Um, so I decided to use it for this and it, it does seem to work okay. Now uh, the big piece here is this is a this is now a sealed unit so this is sealed and so it's not just sliding in here where it's pressure fit you know in here like you see most of the ones. This is now attached directly to the unit I showed in the other and if we go around here to the front of the unit, um, what we'll see, oops, i got to close the back door first before I get myself into trouble, is uh, you can see up here how much room it, it, this door, um, that it provides. So before, this stuck way, way down here. Now one of the things you'll notice is that this is homed up here and that's how much space. So we, we gained back this whole area. And since this is sealed up now, so all, you know, it's not going to be sucking around the sides or anything else of this. It's going to be pulling directly from this opening from this top of the bed. Uh, so that should work pretty good. We'll, we'll do a cut here in a minute. Now, uh, basically on the other side, we follow all this hose what we'll see is I printed, 3D printed an adapter to go on the shop back here um, to suck it through and then we vented out the side of the basement. Now I haven't printed an adapter yet, it'll get more pretty there. Uh, this, this, this actually, I've been using it just stuck in the back. This actually moves quite a bit of air. Again, we'll follow this and again, as I mentioned, I bought a, a lot of tubing because I'm building in an overhead system. So. Let's go ahead, I'm going to set something up, I'm going to cut, and then we're going to see what it looks like. So I don't know if you can hear me over the uh, vacuum cleaner, it's running in the background, but if you can see the smoke, there's not a lot being generated, but it is um, going back into that flute. So I'm sure that uh, as we get down to uh, the, the cutting operation, there'll be more.
other things that I noticed is that if I leave the uh, door open a bit like this, then it can suck more air because if I stick my hand right here, there is a pretty good draft. That vacuum's pulling a lot of air right here. So that's actually working pretty good. So anyways, uh, just kind of wanted to test it out, see how it was working, and it seems to be working out pretty good. So I'm going to probably kill this sprint. Um, so anyways, uh, hopefully this helped uh, with this. Again, you can see I've got quite a bit more. I am going to do a table replacement in this uh, very soon. So uh, to put a bigger table, although this seems to be working actually pretty much just fine. I'm thinking about a honeycomb table, um, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So I have ordered a new mirror for over here. I've ordered the um, the uh, air assist head. That's a must have. I got I got to say that. So once that gets in, I'll do another video on installing those along with uh, the air assist. So again, if this uh, helps you out, please click like below, subscribe to the channel. There'll be a bunch more coming on uh, this in the near future. Cheers.